Kunla Investment, the Saint Forest Hill ANX or Nordic. Or maybe you should buy 488 University Assignment. Let's see. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty Search Mortgage. And today we're going to compare the Saint ANX Forest Hill Nordic N1 Assignment at 48 University. Are you ready? Let's go. This is Yossi Kaplan. If you've seen my videos, thank you. If you're first time, welcome to my channel. Twitter.com slash Jesse Kaplan. I'm a Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker with Search Realty, Search Mortgage. I help investors buy, sell, invest, assign, rent the condos and properties in Toronto and the GTA. Um, this is my Twitter, Twitter.com slash Jesse Kaplan. The YouTube channel is YouTube.com slash Jesse Kaplan. Thank you very much, everyone that's been signing, looking, subscribing, liking, commenting. I appreciate it very, very much. Every sign, like, subscribe, please do that. It uh, helps others to see the videos because the more you comment or like or subscribe, the more YouTube shows it to others. So thank you very much. Now, um, I want to talk about a few condos. So we got the Forest Hill here, which is at uh, 859, 859 Eglinton West. That's a new development that is very popular at around 1,300, 1,400 foot. Okay. So that's what you're looking at here. Um, if you go to my website, torontocondosforsale.com, just go here, torontocondosforsale.com, okay, and it'll come with the pre-construction condos. You can scroll in or you can just, there's a shortcut right here, click at the pre-construction condos, and then type in uh, Forest Hill, the Forest Hill, the, four. there you go. Okay, just apply that. And you get the page for the Forest Hill. That's where you can get the basic info of all the new condos. I have it ready for you already. Fill in this form, and I'll get back to you with information. How's the Forest Hill? Is at 859 Eglinton Avenue West. It's right here. And I think I opened the map for it already. So it's it's right at Eglinton and Bath. It's a very, very busy corner. That's where the Scotia was. Okay. This entire area is going through serious uh, remodeling, remodification, um, whether it's uh, uh, infrastructure, we can see in the Google Photos here, uh, or condos coming in, and everything's being upgraded. You know, this has been kind of dormant, the 70s or 80s, you can see this. So it's, it's really about time for this corner, which is a very important corner. Eglinton and, and, uh, Eglinton and Bathurst, the gatekeeper to Forest Hill, which you go north here, um, that's a lot of Forest Hill, very expensive homes, beautiful homes. If you want to see that, you can come here, and then... All you got to do is hit on the satellite, and you'll see it right here. And if you have a, and, and just look at all the pools, look at all the pools that the satellite caught. Some of them may be uh, hidden, but there's so many pools. These are expensive homes, okay? Uh, two to five million, two to ten million, all for us still. So we're looking right in the corner here. That's very, very good, okay? So that's the forest still. It's coming in around 13, 1400 foot. Um, the location is fantastic. Um, mainly because go back here because it's it's uh, you ride on the subway okay you ride on the subway line and you can really go anywhere here I mean the Allen's Road right here you can pop down location is fantastic it's like at the center of the center of the of the of the Toronto core the Toronto core is uh, Don Valley not the core downtown but the actual Toronto 416 area Don Valley 401 Humber okay that's the Humber right here not as far as the 427, but as far as here, the Humber. Okay, so here's Hyde Park. That's kind of the west end of it. Okay, so that's these are the areas here we're looking at. So that's the center of the center of the center. You can pop in the Allen Road, be on the 401, and come downtown. You need to be to the airport. You can go. It's all good. Okay. Um, the Saint, I'm, I'm jumping quick today. Uh, the Saint is centered in design, very smart. And Toronto Condos are sale. It'll give you the address of 89 Church Street. Okay, so the Saint... Uh, and it's that's 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 a whole other animal. So that's Church and Alley, basically King and Young, if you will. Okay, very fancy, lots of small units, high building, a lot of stacked stacked means one on top of the other, uh, small units. So all these, you know, these are the stacks, one on top of the other, all gonna be the same, like all here, all here, all here. Okay, you know what I'm saying, right? Can we enlarge that? Yeah. So here's here's a picture of the building, gorgeous, gorgeous building. Church in Adelaide, walk anywhere you like. You're not on the subway, but you don't need to be here on the subway. Okay? The idea of this building is a lot of small units because these are these have become rental units. So the small units, investors buy them, but they also pay thirteen, fourteen hundred a foot. So they're not they're not cheap units. Um, they're, not, they're not cheap units. Um, but you know they are what they are. And then 
uh, you got ANX, which I reviewed yesterday. I had a whole video about ANX, and uh, ANX is gorgeous. It's only 105 units, and you can see here. Uh, it doesn't say, but there's 105 units at Dupont, 328 Dupont. See so if I'm gonna get this address here. So I'm gonna have them all for you because that's really really important. 829. It's one. And I get some uh, directions. So you, you, you can see where these two are, okay? So um, DuPont, the ANX is much lower. It's ANX. We're in Spadina. Spadina and Bathurst Station. This is all the way up at Eglinton. And they're not that far, really. Uh, this one is on the subway, and I think it's going to appeal to um, one type of audience. And this one is uh, below the subway. Actually, very very near one um, and it's built to a slightly different kind of audience okay um, the forest hill has more smaller units and uh and investor units and the anx is uh it, they have about a third of the units uh, just under a third of the units uh one bedrooms but uh two-thirds of the buildings two and three bedrooms so it's more of a of a live-in situation and, and that's really important for investors i'll explain in a minute uh, but we'll finish the review so that's the saint um a9 church so that's the map, and you can see here uh, where it's going to come. So obviously, you know, views are going to be a bit because there's a lot of tall towers around here. Okay, this is I'm back at the at the Sainted Church, and it's kind of funny that they named the Saint the Church. You know, no one has said anything about it so far. That's fine. Uh, that's an existing condo here. I think it's going to go in this uh, parking lot right right next. Okay, um, but what's happening? Is there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of tall buildings here. Okay, this is uh, the spire building. It's one of the first ones that came at the new modern buildings. Uh, so it's it's quite old now, but it held up pretty nice. Um, and there's buildings here, and there's the young and rich coming here. So there's a lot of competition. And don't forget that whoever bought it, the spire obviously bought it like 300 bucks a foot because it was so long ago. And if they bought a young and rich, maybe they paid six, seven, eight hundred a foot. And now you're paying 13, 14, 1500 a foot here. So you are competing. You gotta, you gotta have a really, really good product, um, selling for double what other people pay. Mind you, yes, they did pay 10 or 20 years ago, but uh, the resale value here is probably less than <clears throat> what you're gonna buy here, because now there's a discrepancy with the the resale condos are much, much cheaper than the pre-construction. So does it still make sense to buy pre-construction? And that's a whole other video. Um, why would you spend 30, 40, 50 percent more on pre-construction when you can just buy this unit here? Well, the short answer is is the people that buy the pre-construction they're basically gambling that, you know, they're, they're gambling or they're thinking or they're believing. <laughs> you use whichever uh, way perspective you want, um, but they're looking at the market and they go doing that's going to be the future value of the market. The market will be worth 1,500 when I when I finally get my keys. That's the reason that I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the 15 or 20 percent deposit now. Okay, um, and then when you look at A and X, um, that's kind of in between because the values are pretty good, about 1,300 a foot, but, and the units are slightly larger. So you know you're gonna find a lot of units in the million dollar uh, plus here, because it's uh, it, the units take more space, so there's less units. And and I've I've done an extensive review on the A and X, and I really love it. I think it's a it's a it's a phenomenal opportunity for you, especially if you look for like. A larger two bedroom that will last you for years and years to come and I went through the prices I went through the analysis right here I went through the floor plans so I highly recommend you uh, you review this video okay so that's a and X um, got nothing here okay so what else am I missing here I showed you the forest hill I showed you the saint I showed you a and X so um, this will be now the Saint is 89 Church Street down here, and then we got uh, 530 Wilson Ave. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sort them. Okay, so I'll start with the north, most north, just to make the lines easy, something like this. Okay, now this is cool, and and uh, walk route maybe. Okay, the, the shortest line, that, that just, we're not going to walk it, we're just going to look at it. So you can see here, um, we're looking at one, really the core of downtown, okay, lots of small units, 
uh, expecting transiency, expecting a lot of renters, but also mired in a sea of condos, okay? Remember, lots and lots of competition here. So everyone wants to live here, but also very high competition. That means that there's always someone who bought a condo next door cheaper and can take cheaper rents to break even. But if you paid more for this condo, if you're paying $1,300, $1,500 a foot, you know, you're looking at starting prices of $2,500 a month to cover for the one bedroom, maybe $3,000 a month to cover for the one bedroom. And now you got to ask yourself, are there, um, are there a lot of vacancies for the one bedroom in the area that can offer something similar to what I'm buying, or the same so good and it's so advanced, um, and it's going to be in the future, so the price is going to be high anyways, so I might as well invest there. And these are kind of the, the theoretical uh, um, arguments for and against investing in pre-sale that it costs more. Uh, in this case, you know, a 1300 foot, 1400 foot, it's still not the end of the world. Um, it's true that you'll, you're going to need a higher amount of rent to cover for the units, or maybe you're going to need to make your uh, deposit higher, you know, not 20%, but maybe you want to look at 25, 30, 35%, and, and uh, the condo calculator I've introduced in other videos will do it for you right away. I'm not going to get into the calculations today, just more of an understanding. Um, DuPont here, to me, that's a phenomenal investment. There's so few units here, and you can afford the 800 to 1.5 million. That's a phenomenal opportunity because there's just nothing else going on there. Um, and, you know, Freed's known for their high design. And there's really not a lot of condos there. You can go down to Yorkville, but that's, again, busy and towers. But if you look for something unique and large and you're looking for a building which is owner-occupied more than investor, uh, 328 DuPont NX is the one for you. Um, if you're looking for... Um, oh, I just moved that. If you're looking at uh, 8, 859... <laughs> 859 Egg... Eggington. That's my mark there. Remarkable. So 859, <clears throat> that's the Forest Hill condos. If you're looking at this area, uh, that's also a very, very good opportunity because you connected right on the subway. And if you don't need to be right downtown, smack downtown, not everyone, not everyone needs to be smack downtown, my friends. Okay, it's not, not all. There's a lot of jobs downtown, but not everyone is just finishing school and, go, and going to work downtown. There's a lot of other people doing other things, and they're not downtown. There's eight million people in the city. It's metro. Okay. So if you're looking at this area, I think if you can find a good unit here, and again, I don't know if I'll buy like a small one bedroom here for a rental, but maybe I'll get a one plus 10 or a two bedroom, then I think I can do really, really well, okay? Um, the one bedrooms usually come with a very, very high margin these days, um, and if you're looking to flip them, that's okay, uh, because you know, like you only have 100,000 deposit or 150,000 deposit, you wanna, you wanna get into a good building, but that means that the square foot is going down, and then, of course, a challenge to sell it later or to break even or to find a renter with a high rent is, is a bigger challenge. Now, everything is fine and dandy if we believe that the economy and the market will keep going the way it is. If you're more conservative or you think it, you know, it's got to stop because the, the salaries are not rising as fast as the condos, uh, then, then you want to look at something cheaper like Nordic. Okay, that's, that's why you would go to Nordic Wilson here. Let's move back, and here you get a good deal. Uh, we can pick up a two-bedroom, and we've done a couple of those, and you can pick up a two-bedroom here at this massive area. That's the Treddy Condos, and that's the Nordic. So all this entire area is developed by Collective, so it's really, really nice. And of course, from here, you're Minister to New York University, and you basically get yourself a nice investment that you can rent out for years, and I did all the calculations for Nordic, and I showed you. Um, let me go back here, and I'll show you where to find it. Okay, uh, so you're going to go to uh, Nordic, where did I put it, show more, Nordic condos. So this is a, an entire review of Nordic condos, and here I go into all the details of the building itself, Wilson Avenue, the exposures, the type of units, the technology of the building using, why it makes sense, and then the worksheet, and then I go through each and every floor plan, and I explain to you all the floor plans, which one is the one to buy. This is, uh, where is it? The winner, by the way, is this one here. That's the winning floor plan, but there's a couple very, very good. This is one of those winning plans. And then um, in the in the, uh, in the the next video, which is, will it break even? This one here, I think it's this one. 
Yeah, I showed you, you can't count calculate and I explained to you how to calculate the break-even point. And in this case, I used Nordic and I showed you um, which one to buy and, and how it makes sense. And then there's part three of this, uh, which is one or two, one, two, three bedroom. And in this one, I actually go and I do the actual calculation. Um, and I show you how to calculate one, two, or three bedrooms. And then we come into conclusion, how much would this cost a month? That's our kind of our estimate. And what can you get? for rent so if you look here you can see that the one bedroom came up at uh, 2364 the two this this is how much it's going to cost you per month as, a, as an investor which you did at 2080 and 3050 for the two bedroom and then 3700 for the three bedroom and later i'm skipping here and later it shows you the, the how much you're going to cost you per bedroom so the one bedroom is the same the two bedroom divide by half and the three bedroom by three and now it's really interesting because now you can see that um, the three bedroom is cheaper per, per room. So if you're gonna, if you're thinking of uh, renting rooms to students or living in one room and renting the other two, three bedroom make a lot of sense. If you're thinking of kind of a mid midway investment, the two bedroom make a lot of sense. And if you want to grab a unit and flip it later, or use it later, I think the one bedroom will make a lot of sense. If you want a lower barrier to entry, means the cheapest units, the cheapest unit available. Okay, <clears throat> when it comes down, so which is better? I will tell you this, it's better depending on your perspective. There's no, you know, in life there's no black and white, it's just endless variation on the theme. There's endless options between the black and the white and you'll never find a pure black or pure white. It's just how it works. So, ANX, I really, really love it. I think if you're looking for quality investments for long term, something you can sit on for five, 10, 20 years, uh, you'll be able to rent it easily because there's not a lot of rental units you'll be able to sell easily because there's not a lot of units and that's the one for you and the price it's coming in i think it's i think they could have easily asked 1600 a foot here and get it okay um if you're looking at downtown wham bam thank you ma'am <laughs> uh the same could be for you i have the price for all of them by the way uh, i'm not going to put them on the youtube right here but this one here can give you a very good opportunity if you're looking for like a brand new, very glitzy, smart, high design downtown investment condo. Okay, if you are looking for somewhere in the middle, that's that's the uh, Church Street, so that's the Saint. If you are looking at the Forest Hill, some prices here, um, you can see it's not that cheap. Um, so you know, like eight hundred thousand dollars for six hundred square feet, eight hundred fifteen thousand dollars for five hundred so these are ex more expensive units uh, so these are obviously a longer term investment it's a longer term play because it's going to take some time for these things to break even and it's going to take some time for this thing to build the longer the better of course assuming that inflation continues and everything continues the way it is okay uh, and it, but you and you know one million dollars for 900 square feet so the prices are high okay So if I take like an average here of say 795 divided by 616, 1290 a foot, okay, 1290 a foot, 1300, so these are 1300 a foot. So you want to think to yourself, do you want to spend 1300 a foot? I'm not saying yes or no, it's, 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 it's really up to you. Uh, obviously the smaller unit, the higher per foot, look at this, 560, 1, 2, 3, divided by 3, 5, 5, and that's almost 1600 a foot. Okay, so 1600 here, 1300 here, and what would this give me here? 1 million 34 divided by 892. So that's 1160 a foot. So you can see 1600 a foot, 1300 a foot, 11 something a foot. Okay, so that's, that's how they work. The larger the unit, the lower dollar per foot. Okay, so if you're looking to spend $1300 a foot, okay, and uh, Let's say you're looking to spend thirteen hundred a foot, and your total budget is say seven fifty. Divide by thirteen hundred. So the largest unit you can afford is five seventy six, five seventy six, so five eighty a foot. So that that be your target at seven fifty. Now what would be the payments for seven fifty? So seven fifty times point oh five five percent. So you're gonna come up with thirty seven thousand five hundred times four. That's one hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's twenty percent, a fifth of seven fifty, right? Times five. 750. So if you have $150,000 to invest at 1300 a foot, you can get a 576 square feet unit and you can find one of these in most of these buildings. 
Okay, so that's that's how you do it. Um, if you want to get more information, very easy. Just contact me directly. It's fine. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to help you buy, sell, invest, assign, rent, lease condos. Uh, but you can just go to torontocondosforsale.com, hit the pre-construction condo, <coughs> look at the list, search anywhere you like. Uh, that's another that's another thirteen fourteen hundred dollar foot at Portland, maybe a bit more by now. Okay, so these are all these are all options that that you can use, and they're all the, the designs really like came leaps and bounds since since we remember it. The location here is unbelievable. I mean that's so nice. Okay, so that will be that will be also for me a target for a two bedroom acquisition. You know, if you really want that one bedroom to flip it, you got I, th I think it's time to buy a little cheaper. Maybe Nordic will be good for you. I don't know if Nordic has any one bedroom left, probably two, but you can still find good, good units in any of these buildings, okay? They literally just come in on the market or came in the market right now. So this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent, Mortgage Broker, Research Realty and Search Mortgage. Thank you everyone very, very much for watching, liking, subscribing, buying with me, selling with me, <laughs> doing all the things. Uh, this is great. We're living in amazing times, and this is a great time to invest. Uh, last 48 University, we have a unit here. It's priced at 1,200 a foot. This is the unit, 1,200 a foot. So the price would be uh, 1,200 times 544, 652. Okay, our price is slightly lower. It's actually 649, 5, 500 divided by 544. So our price is 1,193 a foot. But this unit, we have the keys. You can move in right now. You can put a tenant in. My estimate is you can get 5000 a month. That's my estimate for a furnished unit. It doesn't mean you're going to get it tomorrow. But I think you can do this. And you can do this for six months at a time or 12 months at a time times 12. So that's 60000 gross income, potential gross income for this unit at 488 University. That's pretty good. Gross on gross, 9%. Obviously, you're not going to be paying that 649. You're going to pay a lot less, and we can do a million calculations. But just to show you, that is our option for you as well. And you're going to see that resale and assignments are becoming cheaper uh, than pre-construction. So if you're looking to uh, put a tenant in and get some get some cash flows, you may want to consider 488 University because that could be a very good option for you. If you're looking for future, you may want to look at the Forest Hill because it sits right on the subway. I really like that. Okay, that's that's unbelievable. See on subway, uh, Portland's good too. Forest Hill, I showed you. Uh, if you're looking for something cheaper and cash flow, uh, you can go in Nordic. Two bedroom, three bedroom, good units. Two bedrooms in the fives and three bedrooms in the sixes. Okay, so that's that's hundred, two hundred thousand less than what you go down here for the small unit for five, six, seven hundred. Medium unit for eight hundred. Uh, small unit for eight hundred. The largest unit for eight hundred. Okay, I think I made sense. I hope so. Thank you very much. See you soon. That's it.